Okay, so this is Jack from Kelly See Me and Me here on the Saturday night in my car at the car park doing this podcast. There's still some time before I go to fetch my mom back from her work. In this podcast, I want to talk about the beginner guide to starting on iron culations. What you can expect if you are going to start on iron culation. For case study example, this mom of a six years old thalassemia major uh, child is having to start on iron culation soon. The mom was saying that the the child uh, started blood transfusion at around a year one years old. And uh, lately, his iron level has been uh, increasing uh, faster and faster to the rate that is now is uh, close to 800. And the doctor uh, said uh, he it's time for him to start on his uh, iron culation. She has concerns as to which iron culator will work best for his child. Will they have any side effect? And will they have any reaction, symptoms uh, when they just started on the culator? As for my personal experience, I remember encountering this milk, kind of rashes, three to four weeks after I first started on the jet note uh, tablet, uh, which has uh, the skin is like suddenly feel very itchy, then there's like yellow like small bump on it then uh, later it resolved so I thought that could be the reaction and it did not persist uh, after that but I heard uh, my other thalassemia major friend uh, who who have who always encountered diarrhea after taking either SJ, uh, J node those kind of uh, culator even L1 uh, they feel they have to go every time they feel like going to uh, go to diarrhea out after taking so that they take now take in the night time and uh, some patient want to know whether to take the oral culator at night or morning as for my own experience of own habit I usually take in the morning as I make it a habit to take the culator my medicine uh, and shower and later uh, go out uh, for work uh, but it's up to you if you feel like you take at night better then uh, go for it as I follow the prescription instead uh, take every morning so I just take uh, every morning and it works uh, fine for me and so far it did not uh, worsen my uh, eye overload so I uh, continue with my uh, jet note. Children these days uh, just don't realize how fortunate they are now as compared to uh, my days now they have uh, you know l1 l1 is already uh, they have a j sj you know j note and this uh, what reborn what the drug i forgot the third name the name the drug where you can uh, reduce you know uh, reduce the blood transfusion uh, you need you can uh, delay uh, lengthen the the number of visit the frequency you go for your uh, blood transfusion and yet they are not uh, compliance with the uh, uh, you know these uh, cul- culators back during my time uh, back in the days we do not have any other options we do not have any oral uh, culator available for us those are uh, now uh, mid 20s and above uh, are in the same shift uh, they have to encounter uh, the same process those are thalassemia major you know who you are where we have to start off with the most uh, traditional way of uh, having uh, this iron culation which is uh, this uh, by injection uh, overnight uh, for typically eight hours where you have to inject a butterfly needle attached to a palm uh, put some uh, this uh, like tape uh, syringe tape over 
uh, till the morning and you take it out seems not not very not very bad yeah as the days progresses it's become they have a big palm to small palm and now got the oral culator where you can take but uh, back then you know let's get into some of the the disadvantage some of the bad thing with the palm let's get into some of the problems that i record when i first started with the the big palm for my iron culations uh, first of all is pretty big uh, the device itself is the length is about 20 cm and the width at the height is about at least 10 cm and on top of that there's a plastic case uh, to cover the device to protect the device like uh, let's say in case it dropped fell on the floor it could uh, break the plastic case but not the, the device itself just like your mobile phone the purpose of you putting the case to protect your phone there. there's a case attached to, attached to it so it make the device actually much bigger than it seems and the weight not to mention is like 1 to 2 kg and the time is uh, the time I'm not used to the there's a belt and other uh, ways you could carry the device but my uh, auntie my dad younger sister she's like uh, doing this uh, tailor so she know how to sew clothes she make a, this shirt for me like a vase that uh, at the bottom you could insert the the palm with the case and you can seal it like stick st stick uh, cover the thing for it to uh, in case it drop out and so i carry i, I use that all along you make a few a few then you but you sleep it's easy like it's like a vase like a clothes it's easier than you uh with the like hang around your neck or the those like side uh, side uh, back those kind of way you doing uh, across your one of your shoulder uh, in, towards your the other side of the your waist method uh, but it's like so heavy it's like the, for kids lah my, my age the time my 10 years old is like very heavy 1 to 2 kg you know lying on the chest that affect your sleep that's why I always sleep sideways either left or right I don't like to don't use to sleep in the face my face facing up the the roof because it's like the, the device pressing on uh, something like uh, affect your breathing something like wall pressing onto you like that so it's really uncomfortable and the uh, needle part the deeper part sometimes it's like uh, very pain and you feel itchy all the time it's swollen sometimes you did not inject well the water, the dextra, uh water go into your layer, the first layer of your skin, so it become very thick instead of uh, uh, underneath it. And it's like sometimes got small bleed out of it, and the morning it become very swollen. And sometimes it, the needle come out actually during the night when it's uh, you trying to turn sleep here sleep night. The, the needle actually come out if, even though you have. Uh, tape well tape it well with the original tape and sometimes at night the machine stop you ring and wake everyone out and also it might uh sometimes even worse never ring never uh, alarm you then in the morning then you realize the pump is not <laughs> infused it's not moving at all so you wasted the whole night uh, with the pump then in the morning you realize you wasted the the dextra and the uh, all the effort you put into you know to prepare for the infusion then also you're not curated so it's like three in one and then you know how bad it is then it's like after you inject here then you have to inject another side there's no place to inject then you have to find other spot to inject then you after that you have to put cream over the area inflammation cream something like that uh, but it's still still swollen until now uh, the star is still there I still have some scar result uh, from the this years of uh, this uh, curation so you can uh, imagine the thing we have to went through and the time we try to the time young or uh, you don't know the importance of uh, curation is like young children these days like try to you know uh, I skip days one day that doesn't matter much lah 
uh, until we grow older then we realize the importance of it like that it could uh, result in overload to in cause to other you know problems diabetes thyroid problem you know heart problem liver problem or all, all sorts of thing that could be bone problem from uh, this uh, iron overload uh, that uh, caused by our uh, blood transfusion okay moving forwards few years after I've been using the big chunky palm the first generation uh, palm a smaller palm by the company chrono has been out is much smaller as compared to the big palm is uh, the thickness is about 8 cm the length about 12 cm without the syringe the syringe you could uh, put it on by uh, the top of the syringe you can plug it in and clockwise uh, turn it to your clockwise and lock it in and you can hang around like a necklace uh, on your neck get a, a thin white uh, this like like electric wire on it electric electrical wire those kind of thickness wire uh, onto your neck then you can uh, carry around uh, the whole night is uh, much convenient don't have the, the pressure anymore from the he heavy like a brick kind of weight onto your chest is uh, lighter then also the s specification the uh, you could now adjust the time you want uh, for the infusion let's say you want longer hours to slowly get uh, infused constantly uh, can increase to up to 12 hours from what I remember yeah and you also could go the other way which if you are in a hurry you want to you want to uh, want to reduce the exposure to it you can uh, make it to four hours let's say you're in a hurry no choice you don't want that to happen but you're late for something in a hurry you could uh, adjust uh, faster downwards at that time like you can press t -t 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 -t, you become 15 minutes uh, shorter t -t 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 -t, uh, you can shorter the length of the infusion and it's like better so you know the timing where the infusion is going to finish and it's uh, I think it's much more convenient it's more so you could adjust you can adjust it both ways uh, but you still need to attach to a butterfly needle and inject under your skin uh, overnight the battery is like those certain uh, camera battery at that time the big one is the battery they use the rectangle one is like those like uh, some remote control car they are using those <laughs> toys remote control car in the days uh, use the same battery as that and uh, moving forward they have uh, now oral culators where people still find reason to not uh, take not compliance with their uh, this oral culator where they still miss a uh, dose here and there then find ways to uh, skip one or two days and now, now they have the you know the lingerie of uh, taking it in tablet and they still uh, forgot once in a while it's uh, acceptable but you know don't make it a habit uh, I started also, also skip uh, one or two days but now I have a note every day you know I write the date the day like uh, 20, 23rd October you know which day Thursday then I put a tick after I every morning after I take the calculation so I know I have to record whether I take or not uh, throughout the the weeks and months uh, be before now let's go ahead and conclude what are some of the things you need to know and expect when starting on a new iron chelation. Uh, first is the type of chelation, either through dextral in infusion or through oral chelators, you know, L1, SJ, uh, J node. And secondly, the price, uh, whether which one should best for your this uh, child condition. Uh, some uh, combination of both or you know w w ask the doctor to, uh, for advice either L1 is good for the heart you know like SJ is good for the overall or which have that is good for the liver what are the best uh, oral chelators for your child and uh, the conveniency of taking and you know what to expect when you first started the you know any reaction 
uh, some reaction may be expected when uh, you first taking is it uh, whether it's continuous you need to monitor whether you have any diarrhea or you know a side effect of it long term and also the consistency you need to uh, take note you might uh, you know miss doses here and there when you first started or you need to uh, you need to remember please also take note that the dose for your culators the the frequency the amount of days may not be the same over time as it goes along could be reduced could be remain the same or you know increase uh, over time some doctor doctor usually uh, they will start you at lower they don't know how you adapt to the medicine so they will start you lo lower according to your body weight uh, then it will slowly uh, stably uh, increase over time and uh, that that was uh, for my case at least uh, for these are uh, SJ and J note and other uh, culators and also the possibility of the culator you are coloring on is not suitable for you or is uh, not sufficient over time so the doctor may suggest uh, you add on another culation another method of culation such as uh, baby add on uh, like SJ they will ask you to add on L1 or L1 they will ask you to add on SJ uh, culation like that also keep in mind that there may be additional blood tests required when you are first starting on a new uh, culation or the increase in uh, the amount of uh, this uh, blood test uh, needed in the past I when I first started on SJ uh, they require me to undergo this uh, like kidney function so there is a more blood test uh, associate those blood tests may not need to take that frequent but starting they may need to take more frequent like every month or every three every month uh, typically then later it may uh, extend to every uh, six months as long as it uh, to ensure it uh, works well doesn't affect the, your kidney or your uh, other body organ for example if your doctor detect that your urine protein is high from the blood test that is taken uh, the doctor may uh, suggest you lower the dosage for the let's say SJ that you are taking from uh, three tablet each day to two tablet we have come to the end of this podcast follow Telecemia and me radio show on Spreaker if you haven't already did and also the uh, YouTube channel the Telecemia show which is the same podcast as the one on uh, the Spreaker the Telecemia and me radio show which I they could uh, just upload it directly there so I do it anyway upload on the, the, uh, the new channel the Telecemia and me radio uh, Telecemia show so subscribe to that as well as my as well as my other social network. So thanks for listening. Hope you have a great day. Take care.